Tennessee and Auburn. A gorgeous autumn afternoon at Knoxville, where football is more than a game. It's a way of life. It's a picnic. It's orange balloons. 95,000 fans in the stands make Neyland Stadium the fifth largest city in Tennessee on this afternoon. It's people coming every way to Neyland Stadium. It's the Navy. The beautiful Fort Loudon Lake adjacent to Neyland. It's orange. It's thousands of cars. It's people. More people. Football is a way of life. And it all builds to this moment when the University of Tennessee Pride of the Southland Band forms the Giant Tee. Tennessee plays Auburn. Over 95,000 fans in the stand. And it's football time in Tennessee. Volunteers complemented by 10,000 orange balloons. Wafting into the sky, and here's referee Dick Burleson for the toss of the coin. decision until the second half kickoff. Tennessee, as you heard, elects to take the ball, and here's Auburn defending the south goal, and here's the football game. This is Randall Morris taking the ball in the end zone, so Tennessee will have it. First down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. Tennessee in orange jerseys with white numerals, orange football pants. Cockrell, number six, is the quarterback. Running back split. Cockrell to throw. Pass complete. Duncan. And Duncan moves close to a first down out to the 29-yard line to the end zone for a second look as Tennessee comes out throwing and Duncan bangs forward. He's tackled by King after a gain of nine. Tennessee gets the first down. You saw the penetration of that 30-yard line by Randall Morris. He was then shoved back, but it's first and 10 Tennessee. Humble. Let's wait and see who gets the football. I believe that Tennessee Coleman Recovered his own bobble, and he did, but it's a loss on the play. So Tennessee has long yardage to go. This is Sam Henderson, 35, 40, 43 yard line. Sam Henderson for the first down. A second look. Henderson with a big, big hole in the up front. Turns on the speed, now the power. And he plunges for a gain on the play of close to 13 yards. It's first down. First and 10, Tennessee, nothing, nothing. Game just getting underway. Pitch, this will be Coleman to the outside, 50. Coleman to the 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Not got around on the 15-yard line. The pitch to Coleman. There's a block by Henderson, and Coleman finds the opening. Now cuts up field. Right here, a little change of Face, then he picks it up, and King catches him from behind and rides him out of bounds at the 16. Nothing, nothing but Tennessee marching. The Volunteers with the ball. 
Nothing much this time as slanting over the right side goes Coleman. Got a yard down to about the 15-yard line. Henderson has stood up right in the middle. Great defensive play by Carr. No gain on the play, and now Tennessee has it third down. Auburn in a five-man front. Cockrell has his team in the eye, back to throw. Pass down into the end zone. It is dropped. Duncan had a shot in the end zone for the touchdown. Couldn't retain possession. A second look. Cockrell, arching pass. There you see Duncan with a step on the defender. Now turns and drops the football. And so Tennessee has it fourth down and in to attempt the field goal. A 33-yard attempt will be Fuad Reve. Holding is sell. Nothing to nothing. Spot is down. The kick is up. It is no good. It's on. The field goal attempt is missed. So Auburn will take over. First down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. Tennessee crisp and sharp in its first offensive possession, but the Volunteers unable to score. The quarterback will be Campbell. Fitz this time comes to Jackson, and Jackson is caught and dropped after a gain of three yards by Reggie White, number 92. Second down, seven yards to go. Auburn, quick open to the right side. A.G. plunges for a couple of yards, then is shoved back by Tolles and White once more. It's third down upcoming. Auburn's Campbell looking over Tennessee's three down lineman with Johnny Williams in the middle. The handoff this time goes to A.G. again. A.G. gets very, very close to a first down, a second look. There you see Williams, there you see Tolles, and there coming on Charles Davis, shoving him back. It's short of the first down by inches, but on fourth down in the punt is Colton. Deep for Tennessee is Tim McGee. The snap and the kick is away. High spiral, beautiful punt. McGee asks for and makes the fair catch, and Tennessee will have the ball first down and 10 to go. At the 35, Cockrell's pass is complete this time to Duncan. And he roams forward for a gain of five yards on the play from the 35 to the 40. It's second down and five. Cockrell handoff to Coleman. Slips and falls as he makes his cut. Had some running room there, but lost his footing and picks up only two yards on the play. Third down three. Pitch Coleman. Again, he slips and runs out from his shoe, as you see, and fails again to take advantage of the wedge, which had been opened up front. And now Tennessee has a fourth down upcoming as Colquitt comes into punt. Ball at the volunteer 43-yard line. Nothing to nothing score first quarter. Snap, Colquitt. Punt, oh, it's a very low punt, but it takes a Tennessee bounce and is going to roll down and is downed at the 16, 17-yard line. So Auburn will have the ball first down and 10. Nothing to nothing to score. The Plainsman with Campbell at quarterback. They're in that wishbone attack. And the give is to Lionel James, and James is clipped immediately, initially, I should say, by Tolles. And then he was falling forward for a gain on the play, as you see here with the second look of about three yards. And it's going to be to the 20-yard line, second down and seven. Still in the wishbone, tight end to the right side. And that's the way they're going with Campbell on the option. He turns and dies forward for three, maybe four yards. And it will be third down upcoming. The score in the game, nothing to nothing. Auburn in the wishbone. Tennessee with three down linemen. An extra back in there now defensively. As Campbell, play action, pass. It's complete. Taken by West. He dropped the ball but fell on it. Maintaining possession and giving Auburn its first first down. First and ten for the Tigers. Campbell on the option. The pitch will come to Jackson at the corner. Good speed. Turns the corner, and here's Jackson racing downfield, and is finally tackled at that point. Great speed and acceleration by Bo Jackson. A second look from the end zone. Campbell, long pitch taken by Jackson at the corner. 40, 45, 50. Down the west sideline, Bo Jackson. Tennessee chasing slowing him, but he maintains his equilibrium is finally somersaulted out, and Auburn is threatened. The Tigers with the ball, and they give us to Jackson again. And he carries for the gain on the play, close to two yards. Second down, Auburn in Tennessee territory. Nothing to nothing to score. Fullback has the ball. That's A.G. banging straight up the middle. 
Picks up three, and it will be third down and five at the Tennessee 13. Lionel James cut inside a block and moves down for the first down. All the way to the five-yard line is 170-pound Lionel James. First and goal, Auburn at the Tennessee 5. Tennessee stays with the five-man front. Auburn in the wishbone. Pitch will go. Coming wide, Jackson slowed, and it's going to be dropped for a loss. Back up at about the nine-yard line. Bo Jackson, as Tennessee defended well. Holds the first man coming in there. There's Cooper. Now here will be Brown, but here will be Alvin Tolles and Tennessee taking the deep pitch. It will be third and goal. Back at the nine. Excuse me, second and goal at the nine. Campbell looking to throw down into the end zone. The pass is incomplete. Underthrown and tended for Woods. Sims defending for Tennessee. It's third down, goal to go for Auburn. Nothing to nothing the score. First quarter. Auburn. Handoff will go to A.G. And A.G. plunges forward inside the five-yard line where he was stopped. And now Auburn has its fourth and goal. And the Tigers will be trying for a field goal. A 21-yard attempt with Delaney to snap. Man will hold. Ball juggled. Picks it up. Rolling to the right. He's going to look to throw. Here's the pass down into the end zone. It is deflected by Tennessee, but then caught by Auburn. And the, ex, the field goal try, obviously, on the man who snapped the ball, and Tennessee will have it at its own four-yard line. Tennessee at the four. To the line, Tennessee on a give to Henderson. Plowing straight ahead for the gain of three yards. Had, of course, the ball not been intercepted, Tennessee would have had it at the 20. But as it was, I should say, had it not been deflected and caught by Auburn. Tennessee again with Henderson plowing a second look. You'll see the surge up front. You'll see Henderson out to about the 10, where it's third down and four. Cockrell. Looking. Back to throw. Cockrell's pass is going to be overthrown way over the head of the intended receiver, Duncan. So into the game will come Colquitt. Jimmy Colquitt for Tennessee. Auburn has a six-man rush. Snap. Colquitt gets the punt away. Low driving punt, and the safety man's going to let it bounce, and it's taking a Tennessee roll, and it goes all the way down to... The Auburn 19-yard line. That punt was good for 70 yards as the first quarter comes to a close. At the end of one, the score is Auburn nothing, Tennessee nothing. Auburn with the ball. Campbell comes forward, fumbles the football. It's been recovered by Tennessee. Second look as Campbell on the option. Comes to the near side. Fumbles the ball right there. And you see it ricocheted off James. And that kept the ball in the field of play. And Tennessee's Davis alertly recovers. And the Volunteers will have it deep in Auburn territory. Nothing and nothing to score. Driving through there comes Henderson. And Henderson grinds out yardage for a gain of six yards. And Tennessee will have it second down and four. There's the second look. Tennessee with another opportunity to score. Recovering the Auburn fumble. For the Volunteers, it's Cockrell. Nothing to nothing to score. Back to throw Cockrell. Pass down field complete. Taylor, 10. Taylor carries the ball inside the 10-yard line to the 8. It will be first down goal to go for Tennessee. A second look at the, the nice move there to free himself for three addi additional yards. Cockrell looking to throw into the end zone. The pass is batted down. Fine defensive effort by Warren. So it will be for Tennessee, second down and goal. Here's Cockrell, fumble, scramble, recovered, I believe, by Auburn. They're unstacking the players, and Auburn has recovered the football. Tennessee sees another scoring opportunity go a glimmering as Auburn recovers the missed snap, and the Tigers take over. First and 10 at the seventh. The pitch will come to James. James tries to get outside 10, cuts upfield, stepped out of bounds as he moves up close to the 15-yard line. 
Again on the play of seven, put it at the 14, make it second down, a couple of yards to go. As Campbell gives to Jackson, and Jackson knifes through the left side of the line and has moved the ball for the first down. It's first and 10 Auburn, as the score remains nothing to nothing. Again, Auburn against Tennessee's three down lineman. Campbell, option. Campbell is wrapped up and stopped. No gain on the play as Campbell on the option. Stopped by McKenzie and Charles Davis. Here you'll see the option. He's thinking about the pitch, but then Tennessee converges and they make the stop on Campbell with McKenzie. Second down. Auburn nothing, Tennessee nothing. The pitch, Jesse into the football game. He tries the left side of the line. Not much there. Gain of three yards, perhaps. Third down, some six yards to go for the Tigers. Tennessee in a four-man front, five defensive backs in there. Here's the pitch. It comes to James. James tries the corner, gets outside the 25-yard line, but did not get the first down. He will be a couple of yards short. Joe Coper, number 42, over to cover for Tennessee. There's the pitch to James. Tennessee stringing it out. And there you see Kofer coming in to make the stop after fine defensive play on the outside linebacker's part. In will be Colbert to punt. Tennessee nothing, Auburn nothing. Tennessee with a five-man rush to snap. Colbert gets his punt away. High spiral. McGee weighs for and makes a fair catch, and Tennessee will have the ball. First down, 10. Tennessee with the football. At the Tennessee 32-yard line, Cockrell at quarterback, checking off at the line of scrimmage against the three-man rush. Rolls right, looks to throw. The pass is complete. Lenny Taylor makes it one step in bounds, then backpedals out of there, but Tennessee picks up five yards on the play. Second down and five. Johnny Jones into the football game for Tennessee, the Munford Jr. at tailback. Pitch. Here's Jones cutting up field. Balls deflected away. Fumble recovered. Auburn. Jones carrying the ball. Here's a second look, and let's see if the linebacker actually knocked it free and racing to recover it will be Auburn. That's Powell on top of the ball. Auburn has the ball after Tennessee turns it over at the 35-yard line of the Volunteers. Campbell. Hand off, and this is A.G., the fullback in that wishbone, and he gets running room. Powers forward for a gain of eight yards, knocked down by Coles. It will be third and two. Nothing, nothing to score. Campbell with A.G. at fullback, fakes to him. Keeps, now pitches, and it was taken by Jackson. Some of the fans thinking it was a forward lateral past the line of scrimmage. A second look, and we'll see. Here's Campbell making that pitch. And it is ruled not a forward lateral. And so Auburn will have the ball, and that will be a first down. On the play, Tennessee guilty of holding. So here's the penalty. Ten yards, and Auburn has the ball first and ten at the Tennessee ten. Nothing to nothing is the count. Campbell pitches. James coming to the near side, being chased. Gets three yards as he's spun down by Alvin Toll. The second look at the defensive play. 92, Reggie White getting the quarterback. James coming to the near side, flows to make his cut, and is spun down by Toll. Second down, seven to go for the first down, seven and a foot to go for a touchdown. This will be Tommy Agee. Hold to the right side. He drives it down to the Tennessee three-yard line. It's going to be third and three. Auburn to the line again. Campbell, the quarterback. Campbell on the option. Keeping, turning. Did not score. He was stopped at about the one-yard line. He reaches out to put the ball over, but he is ruled about a foot, maybe a foot and a half short. There you see it. Auburn. Nothing, Tennessee, nothing. Auburn going for the touchdown. The Volunteers digging in in their goal line defense. Quarterback Campbell, Jackson drives. Touchdown for the Tigers.
Bo Jackson scores, and Auburn jumps on top of Tennessee six to nothing. Del Greco for the extra point. It is up, and it is good. And Auburn leads Tennessee by a score of seven to nothing. That drive got its inception with the recovered fumble by Powell at the Tennessee 35-yard line. Del Greco will be kicking out. Here's the kickoff by Del Greco. And it goes on through the end zone. Fine effort by Del Greco and the kickoff. And so Tennessee puts it in play first and 10 at the volunteer 20-yard line. Play action, Cockrell. Rolling right, will throw. Pass complete, Morris at the 24. He's nailed at that point. It will be second down and six. Tennessee back to the eye formation. The fullback is Henderson against the four-man front. Henderson with running room, and he powers forward to the 29-yard line, picking up five and making it third down and one to go. Seven to nothing, Auburn leading. Tennessee with that full house backfield, and Henderson crunches past the 30-yard line, and that will be, that's enough for the first down. First and 10, Tennessee at the 31-yard line. Sam Henderson moves the ball and the chain markers as well. Cockrell checking off at the line of scrimmage as he's done so many times already in this game. Second period, pitch will be Coleman. Coleman starts right, veers back to the left, over tackle, and got maybe three yards. It will be second down and seven. Play action again. Cockrell sets up, will throw across the middle, pass complete. This is Tim McGee, and Tennessee has the first down. Up to the volunteer 48-yard line. A second look as Cockrell rifles the pass, and McGee comes open underneath. He's immediately spun down, but he has enough of the first down. Eight-yard line, first down, 10 to go, trailing 7 to nothing. Beautiful day, temperature in the low 70s as the pitch will go to Coleman, and Coleman cuts past midfield as he slithers to the 48-yard line of the Tigers. Gain of four, second down for Tennessee. Back to the I formation. Back to the pitch to Coleman. Runs through a tackle. Cuts back past the 45-yard line. Fights close to the 43. It will be one yard short of a first. Third down upcoming again for Tennessee. Tennessee has the full house backfield again. And this is Morris. And Morris turning through the left side. Moves it, I think, enough for the first down. It's first and ten for Tennessee as Randall Morris picks it up. Cockrell, pass, screen complete. Taylor, 40, 35, Taylor down to the 30 and beyond. Lenny Taylor working off the screen, set up brilliantly. There's the pass, there you see the interference downfield for Tennessee. 67, that's Mayo. And this will be Lenny Taylor for a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10, Cockrell back to throw, looking, man's open, pass is complete. This is McGee, by touchdown, Big Orange. A second look as Cockrell sets up. Beautiful protection by the lineman, and there you see McGee. The back slips and falls, and that opens it up for the Fleet McGee to dance untouched into the end zone. And it's now Auburn 7, Tennessee 6. The extra point by Reves is scored, and the score is tied. Kicking off will be Reves. As the kick coming toward you from the sideline, you'll see Lionel James receive it and down it in the end zone. And Auburn will go on offense in a tie game. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first half. Seven to seven the score. Auburn in the wishbone. Campbell, handoff. Up the middle, this is A.G. A.G. rambles forward for a gain of 11 yards on the play. It's first down, 10 to go Auburn. Fighting the ball defense and the clock right now. Campbell, ridden out of bounds by Dale Jones after picking up six yards on the play. Out to the 37-yard line, stopping the clock, of course. Campbell back to throw, rips the pass. It is complete. Great diving grab by Woods. That will be enough for the first down to the 46-yard line. Again, Campbell, long pass, man wide open, pass complete. He paid the price. Threw the ball out of bounds, trying to stop the clock, as you saw. As the pass is to Gaines. 
making the catch. He's hit here. And as he is falling, he turns, and you'll see he gets released the ball trying to stop the clock. Auburn with the ball. And this will be A.G. for a gain of two yards. Auburn seven, Tennessee seven, A.G. this time. Burrows forward. As Tennessee's Reggie White is in there on the tackle that time. It's first down, Auburn. Down to the volunteer 41-yard line. Auburn using the clock brilliantly here, nearing the end of the first half. Campbell. The give is to A.G. And A.G. goes for... Down to the 39, a couple of yards. Auburn uses the timeout to stop the clock. Seven to seven remains the count in this football game. Campbell sets up, pass. It is complete. Wood steps out of bounds after making the catch, stopping the clock. Auburn has another first down at the Tennessee 30. Campbell keeping 25. Campbell 20. Campbell to the 15. Campbell knocked out of bounds, running the option to perfection. Randy Campbell. And here's a second look. You see Sims is being blocked right here, and that gives Campbell the chance to slide inside. Fighting off, Sims makes the play, but Campbell has moved forward for the first down. At the volunteer 11-yard line, 7-7, seven to seven, but Auburn now in field goal position as Campbell's pass is dropped. Intended for James. Coles defending. Second down, 10 to go at the Tennessee 11. The give this time is to Tommy Agee. He pounds over right guard for a gain of four yards. Down to the seven, where it will be third down and six. Back to throw. The pass is complete. James makes the catch and it's tackled. A second look. As Auburn goes for the touchdown, it's James. Then Tennessee converges with two people there to make the stop. Kofer and Tolles. And Auburn is going to go for the field goal from the two-yard line. Five seconds left to go as Auburn used its final timeout. Man will hold for the field goal. It is up, and by Del Greco, it is good. So Auburn goes in at halftime, leading Tennessee by a score of 10-7. to 7. Auburn leads 10-7 as the second half is set to get underway. And as you recall, Auburn won the opening toss of the coin. They deferred making their decision until the second half. Now they elect to receive. Kicking off Rave. Back deep will be Auburn's Bo Jackson, who downs the ball. And the Tigers have it first down, 10 to go at the 20-yard line. Randy Campbell at quarterback. The give is to Lionel James. James tries the right side. Reggie White waits on him and rolls him down for little of any yardage, maybe a couple of yards. There's Reggie White making the stop. And it will be Auburn, second down, eight yards to go. To the sideline, where you'll see Campbell on the option. Coming to the near side, pitch is made with the James at the corner. Turns up field and is bumped out of bounds. First man to slow him, Duncan, then Charles Davis makes the stop. A second look from the end zone. At the deception of the wishbone. There's the pitch. There's James, 25. James to the 30. James to the 35, to the 40, and stepped out of bounds right there. On the play, Tennessee is guilty of holding. So that's tacked on. And now Auburn has the ball at the Tennessee 49-yard line with Campbell back to throw. Good protection. Pass downfield. The man is there complete. That's Gaines making the catch. Trey Gaines receives the pass. Good for 21 yards and a first down. Auburn again. Campbell to throw. Looks the other way. Pass complete. And it's made this time the reception by Wood. Just outside the 10-yard line. A second look as Campbell has all day to throw, and here's the pass. And there you see Wood coming open, making the catch and striding out of bounds. And so Auburn 
will have the ball as Jackson cuts inside, runs into Xander. Then Davis also there helping out of the stop. Auburn with the ball. Deep in Tennessee territory at the five-yard line. Campbell. Pitch. Jackson turns the corner into the end zone. Touchdown. Says one official. There's a marker down. There's a penalty marker down on the play. And Auburn is guilty of holding. So Jackson's apparent touchdown is nullified because of the penalty against the Tigers. And the ball is moved back out to the 11-yard line. Auburn with it. Pitch. James to the near side being chased. Tackle. Great open field play by Alvin Cole. You'll see the speed of the linebacker. The pitch goes to James. There you see Tolles chasing him down and making the stop. Excellent, excellent play, Tolles. Loss of five, back to the 16. It's third down. Auburn leads Tennessee 10 to seven. Campbell to throw, pumps. Now steps up, throws the ball, caught. Great catch. Tremendous reception under pressure by West. The tight end, the gain of 11. And so Auburn has it fourth down at the five yard line. And here once more will be Del Greco to attempt the field goal. Holding his man. It's 10-7 Auburn. The field goal is up and it is good. So the Tigers take the opening kickoff in the second half, moving down to convert a field goal. And Auburn leads Tennessee 13-7 with Del Greco to kick off. Downfield, it's taken by Morris. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, still on his feet, 40, stumbles, finds it down to the 35-yard line. Morris sees it open up. Cooper out in front, leading him. There's Morris cutting back. Breaks that tackle. Spins out of that tackle. Cuts back to beat that defender. Now stumbles. Dies it down to the 35-yard line. Tennessee first and down at the Auburn 35. Cockrell. Pass screen complete behind the line of scrimmage. Taylor edges forward for a couple of yards before he shoved out of bounds. And Tennessee will have it second on eight yards to go. Cockrell play action. Coming to the near side. Sets up the throw. Pass downfield is batted down incomplete. Intended for Duncan. Defending for Auburn on the play was Beasley. Third down seven. Cockrell again. Dropping the throw. Feels some pressure across the middle. Pass is under throw. Incomplete. It was intended for McGee. Defending again, Beasley. So on fourth down, Fouad Reves into the football game will be attempting a 49-yard field goal. The score is now 13-7, Auburn leading. Sells will hold. The kick is in the air, and the kick by Reves is going to be short. No good. Auburn picks up possession, first down, 10 to go at its 44-yard line. Leading 13 to 7. Carrying the ball is Bo Jackson through the left side of the line. Runs into Reggie White after a gain of two yards. Second down, eight yards to go at the 46-yard line. Again, it's Auburn running straight up the middle. This time, A.G. carries the ball. Tackle by Reggie White after a two-yard gain. Third and six at the 48. Campbell pitching with the ball. Jackson at the corner slips and falls as Tennessee comes up with Hogan defending. And it will be short of the first down. So Auburn will have Colbert in the punt. Fourth down. Tennessee with a rush. The punt, well, he is blocked down. Tennessee went for the block and a penalty marker is down. The punt goes out of bounds. Far upfield, but there's going to be, I'm sure, a penalty against Tennessee. A second look. As Colbert is knocked down, Tennessee went for the block and failed. And the penalty, though five yards, will be enough for the first down. And Auburn has it first down and 10 to go. Maintaining possession. And Auburn has had possession much of the way in the third quarter. Pitch in the corner with a Jackson fumbles out of bounds. I 
to take the ball. Ricochet back inbound, but the official has marked the out of bound point. And Auburn fumbling the ball, but maintaining possession. Gain on the play of four yards. It will be second down, six to go at the Tennessee 40. Back to throw Campbell. Pass complete. Ed West, another fine catch. Gain on the play of 14 yards down to the 26 yard line of Tennessee Auburn leading 13 to 7 has the ball. Pitch will be Jackson at the corner to the 20 down to the 18 yard line slips and falls under the tackle of Joe Cooper at the 17. That was Jackson for a gain of close to nine yards. Back to the wishbone Tennessee in a five man front ball inside Tennessee 20 at the 17. Campbell option edges forward for a gain of a yard and it's enough for the first down Auburn first down 10 to go deep in Tennessee territory at the 15 yard line Campbell pitches James at the corner no there's Coles after Tennessee put the stopper on James. The pitch, Tennessee converging. Coles is there on the stop. There's a loss in the play of five yards. It will be second and 15. Campbell, pass complete. Jackson 20, Jackson 15, Jackson 10. Tackled after setting up the screen perfectly. Jackson moves the ball down for a gain of close to 12 yards. It will be third down, three to go at the eight-yard line. Auburn with Jackson, five. Now he carries the ball, powering his way down to about the two-yard line. Is shoved back, but Auburn has enough for the first down. It will be first and goal for the Tigers at the Tennessee two-yard line. The score in the game is Auburn at 13, Tennessee seven. First down, goal, Auburn. As Auburn comes to the line in the wishbone, Tennessee in that goal line defense. Virtually an eight-man line. Campbell looking it over. Barking out the count. Campbell. Keeping, turning, diving. Touchdown, Auburn. The deception of the wishbone and the cut by Campbell. And Auburn leads Tennessee now by 19 to 7, and the Tigers are going to try for the two point conversion. This will be Campbell. Pass incomplete, intended for Carroll. So the two point try is missed, and it's now 19 to 7, Auburn leading. Del Greco will be kicking off. Third quarter of the game is the kick. A squibber goes bouncing down into the end zone. And it will be down at that point by Randall Morris. First and 10 for Tennessee at its 20 yard line. Trailing now in the game 19 to 7. It's been 7 to nothing Auburn, 7 7 a tie, 10 to 7 at halftime. Now Auburn with a field goal and a touchdown. And Tennessee sends Randall Morris skirting forward after getting the pitch from the 20 to the 25, at which point it's second down and five. Again, it's Morris to the outside. He's got a first down past the 30. And then lunges on to the 35-yard line. Good effort by Randall Morris. Blocking up front. You see the cutback. You see the effort by Morris giving Tennessee a first down at the 35-yard line. Nearing the end of the third quarter. Cockrell gives to Coleman. Coleman looks for blocking, but he's knocked down by Daly as the third quarter comes to a close. At the end of three, the score is Auburn 19, Tennessee 7. Now the fourth quarter, Tennessee will be moving toward the south end of the football field at Neyland Stadium. Both teams came into this game with records of one and one. Cockrell off play action, back to throw. The pass is complete. 45, knocked out of bounds is Taylor. After picking up a gain of nine yards to the volunteer 47 yard line a second look at the pass the catch by Taylor he's hit fumbles the ball but you see it rolled out of bounds as he was knocked down by Powell 
First down, the pitch to Coleman. Coleman tries to get past midfield and does from a gain of five yards on the play. Batted down by Daly, at which point it's got to be second down and five to go. Cockrell, long pass downfield off the flea flicker, batted down and complete. Duncan had come wide open, but Tennessee took a little too long. Here you see Coleman, now he slips, shovels the ball back to Cockrell. And that slip took just enough time away for Cockrell to wait ever so slightly too long to get rid of the ball and allow Auburn's defender to catch up with the slowing Duncan. So, Tennessee has it. Third down. And now the Volunteers, unable to get the play off in time, will accept a five-yard delay of game penalty. So instead of third and five, it becomes third and ten. Cockrell back to throw and trouble is sacked. Daly and Smith come through to drop Cockrell for a loss. And Tennessee, trailing 19 to 7, will have Jimmy Colquitt in the punt. Gainus deep for Auburn. The punt is away. Gainus under the ball. Will make the catch at the 19. Looks for running room. Breaks free. 25, 30. Here's Gainus. 35, 40. Gainus is open. 50 down to the 45, 40. 35, 30. 25, 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Auburn. 81-yard punt return by Gaynus. A second look. You'll see Tennessee had people there, and Gaynus just broke the initial wave, and once he did, he was in the open. Fine cut back there. He's got a blocker in front, and he uses the blocker well. Now turns on the speed and beats the defender into the end zone for the touchdown. So Auburn with a big play, and this will be A.G. pass the play conversion try. It's good. The 50-yard punt by Colquitt returned 81 yards by Gaynor. The two-point conversion by A.G. It's 27 to 7 Auburn, breaking it open. Here's the kick. Del Greco. Morris. The whistle sounds, and Morris bringing out of the end zone. This allowed because the ball did not make it into the end zone on the fly, but instead bounced in there for the touchback. Tennessee, screen pass with the ball. This will be McGee breaking it. McGee forward for a big gainer on the play. Let's go back and take a second look at the screen pass to McGee. Cockrell. Passes. There is McGee. Nice move to the 25 to the 30. Good speed and a stiff arm freeing himself. And walks along the east sideline for a gain of 26 yards. Back to throw Cockrell. Screen pass again. Complete behind the line. Henderson 50. Henderson 45. Henderson 40. Henderson runs over his own man but gets penalty a first down at the Auburn 38 yard line. The Vols using the screen passes, this time to a back. Big Sam Henderson, 67 Mayo out in front, leading the interference. There's the speed of Sam Henderson. There you see that he is knocked down, but Tennessee will have the ball first down and send to go with the 38. Rolling left is Cockrell, being pursued, in trouble, will pass. The pass complete, John Cook. Cockrell completes his pass to tight end John Cook for a gain of 18 yards. A second look at this play by Cockrell being pursued from the rear. Squares up and passes the ball, and John Cook makes a fine catch high in the air, pulling it down. Cradles the ball as he takes a blast, but Tennessee has it first down. At the 20-yard line of the Tigers, trailing 27-7. Tennessee handoff, this time running with the football is Morris on a draw. Picked up two. It will be second down and eight. Auburn in a four-man front. Cockrell is checking off at the line. Tennessee in the eye formation. Cockrell back to throw. Pass across the middle is incomplete. And a penalty marker is dropped. A second look as Tennessee's Taylor is tackled before the ball gets there. And Tennessee will have it first down and goal to go. Pass interference, Auburn. 
That will give Tennessee the ball at the nine yard line, say the officials. And it's Cockrell rolling right. Pass is complete with the ball. Taylor bumped out of bounds to the five yard line. It will be second down and goal for Tennessee at the five. Now Cockrell rolls left to pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Big Aaron, to Lenny Taylor. Cockrell. Taylor made a fine cut. There you see him in the end zone, tackled, but late. And so Tennessee, with the extra point by Raves, good. Trails by 13. It's Auburn 27, Tennessee 14. Raves will be kicking off. Auburn with 10 minutes. Well, Tennessee tries the onside kick. It's covered by Auburn. Tennessee trying the onside kick, but Parks is up. He's a tight end up. Very close for Auburn, making the recovery, and so the Tigers have excellent field position. Here to the left side. Comes Auburn fumbling the ball, but recovering it. So the Tigers have it as the pitch goes to Jesse at the 50. Jesse is old, stood up. Vicious tackle that time by Xander and McKenzie after a gain of a yard. Forty five is Xander. Fifty one McKenzie. Third down nine. Auburn with Washington at quarterback throwing across the middle incomplete. Washington has come on at quarterback relieving Campbell. That pass intended for Woods incomplete so at fourth down and here is Colbert in the punt. Twenty seven to fourteen. Colbert's punt is away. Going to bounce, take an Auburn roll inside the 20, out of bounds, and about the 15-yard line. So Tennessee still with a chance, lots of time to go in the game, about 8 minutes and 30 seconds. As Cockrell, play action, rolls left, sets up the throw. Here's the pass downfield, it is intercepted. Daly of Auburn has intercepted that football, and the Tigers take over again. Turnovers hurting Tennessee in the football game. That time the pass was thrown short, and Daly alertly gets into the flow of the play, and here you'll see that interception right there by Daly, cutting in front of the intended receiver, Randall Morris. Morris recovers to make the tackle, but Auburn has the ball and field position as well. Auburn to the line. Washington. Reggie White after a gain of a yard. Second down and nine at the 29 yard line. Washington pass is juggled and lateral. Scramble, Tennessee's recovered. A second look as Washington pass is deflected, I think, then juggled. Then the receiver got the handle and lateraled it back to Jackson, but it was fumbled, and Tennessee recovers the ball. McDaniel recovers for Tennessee. The Volunteers setting up the screen. And running with the football, forward for Tennessee comes Morris. Gain of 10 and a first down. The score remains 27 to 14. A second look at Morris. With Streno out in front, Morris cuts behind him, moves it forward, and Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. The ball's trail, trying to get something started. Back to throw, Cockrell pass is complete. That throw to Taylor picks up seven yards, and Tennessee has it second and three at the 38. Again, it's Cockle. This time, the pass thrown and sent it for Duncan might have just thrown the ball out of bounds, as Duncan was pretty well covered. So it's third down and three. The pitch will go to the tailback, Colvin, and Colvin runs into Daly and Austin. A gain of a yard, but Tennessee has it fourth down, deep in its own territory in the fourth quarter, and the Volunteers are going to go for the first down. So Tennessee throwing caution to the wind, gambling, deep in its own territory, trailing. Cockrell looking, throwing. The pass is incomplete and sent it for Duncan. 
Changed that the pass was intended for Taylor, but nevertheless, it's incomplete, and Auburn will take over. Auburn to Jesse, through the left side, inside the 30, moves the ball down to the 28-yard line of Tennessee. Auburn has had excellent field position throughout the second half of the game. Auburn, deep reverse, Buford all by himself. There he cuts down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Auburn. Clayton Buford. As Auburn set the play up brilliantly, running to the left on the previous play, then they set the momentum the same way and reverse it on the pitch, and Auburn builds its lead over Tennessee to 34 to 14. Del Greco kicking off. He bangs the bounder downfield, picked up by Morris. Morris returning the ball forward, gives Tennessee possession, first down and 10 to go. As it will be, Tennessee taking over at the 21-yard line. Robinson into the game for Tennessee will be the quarterback. Robinson back to throw. Now reverses left. Looking to fumbles the football. It's recovered by Auburn. Robinson for Tennessee at quarterback. Fumbles the ball as he was hit. And Auburn will have it first down. And goal to go at the Tennessee eight-yard line where the recovery is made. Slanting left, Jesse. Gets three yards to the five. Now this will be Evan slanting right. Not much there for him. White and Duncan on the stop. It will be third and goal. Auburn again on the wishbone. Washington at quarterback. The give goes to Collins. Collins gets a yard, but that's not enough. So it's fourth down and goal. And Auburn will have their field goal unit coming into the game. Auburn's going to basically take a five-yard penalty. Gives a better angle to Del Greco. 27-yard attempt as Auburn leads Tennessee 34 to 14. The kick is in the air. It is good as you see, and Auburn wins over Tennessee. The final score, the Tigers 37, Tennessee 14. One of Tennessee's touchdowns scored by wide receiver Tim McGee in the first half. Tim, tell us about the touchdown catch first. Well, the play was designed, called, it was called, I was coming across the middle on the cross, and, and we had Clyde Claire in the middle for me, and the way the defensive back played, he came up, so that left the middle wide open, and once I caught the ball, I was very surprised, because once I looked up, there was no one there. Clyde threw a great block for me, and I walked on in the end zone. So good. <laughs> That's something that uh, a lot of people don't talk about, wide receiver. They talk about his catching, but not his blocking, and Clyde's yeah. a good blocker, isn't he? Clyde's definitely a good blocker. It, it helps a lot to be a good blocker, which in that case, you can see, blocking downfield by the receiver becomes a very important part of the game. Like, you can break a back open any time, like that play you just seen. What did Auburn do to really hurt the Tennessee offense? They do anything special? Well, they didn't do nothing really special. I think, more or less, we hurt ourselves with the fumbles, quarterback, you know, gets on the center too fast, or, you know, whatever happens there. But I don't think Auburn really did that. I respect Auburn a lot. They did some great things. But I don't think they confused our offensive plan, no. Tennessee linebacker Dale Jones is with us. Dale, tell us about your thoughts on the defensive efforts. Uh, I think we, you know, we came out trying, trying to do, you know, our game plan, and um, just somehow another big plays that, you know, got us down and, you know, started getting to us, and uh, we just got to get back together, you know, as a team, and play good. If you look back at two plays, I think that stick out the punt that you almost blocked and got called for the penalty, and a long punt return really broke your back. Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, Coach Major stresses the kicking game, and today it just went against us. You know, I thought he talked about the kicking game, and he just shows, you know, if you don't do what you're supposed to do in the kicking game, you're going to get beat. Tennessee's quarterback, Alan Cockrell, with us. Alan, tell us about your thoughts on the offense and some of the problems. Well, I think, you know, it was a number of things. We, we had some early scoring opportunities, and we came away empty twice. The first one being uh, our opening possession. And this is this is starting to get a little old. You know, we start out moving the ball well on our first on our first possession and drive the ball right down the field. And uh, and then we miss miss on a pass and uh, then we miss on a field goal, you know, and there's there's a missed opportunity. We come down and, and our defense forces a fumble, we we recover them on their eight and we fumble it right back to them the very next the very next snap. 
and th this again is a as a, another missed scoring opportunity, and I mean that that's the difference in, in us jumping out ahead and them having to play catch up, and, and them jumping out ahead and us having to play catch up, and it's it's a tough ball game when and, you have to do the latter. Yeah, and doing playing catch up is tough, and when they know you're going to throw, that makes it even worse. Yeah, they they were dropping uh, you know five five defensive backs in the coverage and dropping two linebackers, so that that's that makes seven people cover. You got maybe th three, maybe four guys in the route, so it's it's a tough way to make a living having to play catch up like that. You threw a couple of touchdown passes. Uh, McGee and Taylor played pretty well today, didn't they? Yeah, they they did. You know, we we felt that um, we could throw the ball on them, you know early like that. We caught them in man a man coverage on Lenny's on Lenny's touchdown route, and we ran a little crossing route, and, and he got a he got out there in the corner of the end zone, and on uh, uh, McGee's touchdown, he. Uh, Made a good catch, made a good run with it after he caught the ball, but it just wasn't nearly enough. So after the disappointing loss to Auburn, the Volunteers try and regroup next week as they travel to Memphis to take on the Citadel. This is Bob Kessling reporting from the Tennessee Locker Room.